Look at the opening line of the advertisement for the benefit of the native habitat. It's the opening line. It doesn't say that we're homesteading. It doesn't say we're clearing the land. It doesn't say we're preparing for development. It says for the benefit of the habitat. All right, I'm back up north. Uh, I'm in another area that uh, I am documenting. Yesterday when I was down south, I recorded a big, long, rude response to some of the comments that were on my uh, uh, goats do the exact opposite of what they're uh, advertised to do. And then I, then I calmed down and I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe the comments aren't as dumb as they sound or, you know, seem because you're reading them. You know, things can get uh, lost in translation. Maybe they weren't intentionally trying to sound like smart asses, but I'll tell you this much. When they say there's no such thing as a stupid question, there may be such thing as a stupid comment, but whether they were actually stupid or I just don't understand what the commenter is trying to say, they're definitely learning opportunities. Now, for all of you who came on and were so proud of telling me that this is exactly what goats are supposed to do. Uh, clear the land. They were used by homesteaders. Uh, the guy who was getting the most likes uh, at the top said, well, from what I heard, goats are meant to put a hurting on the brush. And it looks like that's exactly what they did. What channel do you people think that you're on? This is an ecology channel. Do you think I'm going out to construction sites and mad that the goats are clearing an area that's about to be uh, paved and industrialized come on think a little bit are you just desperately uh searching for channels to uh put your silly comments on this is land where they are actively claiming that the goats are helping improving the habitat restoring the natural ecosystem this is literally what they are claiming is happening so i guess in response to your comments, I should simply thank you because you've actually proven my point. You have strengthened my point by declaring out of your own mouths, typing with your own keyboards, that goats are a freaking plague upon the land and basically the animal version of a bulldozer. Regarding what I think the goats are advertised to do. It's not a matter of what I think. I am reading verbatim what they claim the goats are supposed to do. I'm reading the actual advertisement. Only two videos before that one, I even showed the sign showing what they claim that the goats are supposedly doing. I mean, the answer's in the thumbnail, people. You didn't even have to watch the video. The answer's in the thumbnail. How hard did you work before you just dropped a comment? The video description also says what they claim the goats are supposed to be doing. I mean the video description of the video that you left the comment on. You didn't even read the video description before you left your comment. Not the previous video, not two videos ago, not last week's video, the video that you left your comment on. I'll use a couple of my clips from yesterday to cover the other topics because I used up all my angry energy <laughs> already. Now, since reading is probably not your strong suit, I'll go ahead and oblige by reading the most consequential parts of the sign. Removing these invasive plants restores the native ecosystem and provides natural habitat for the native wildlife. Right. Well, that's certainly an advertisement, and it is definitely the opposite of what I showed you. This technique will reduce the amount of invasive non-native plants over time. Another question that I bring up in a lot of my videos, how much time, how long are we supposed to wait? I have been documenting it closely for six years and have only seen the exact opposite of that claim. Goats may browse the leaves and branches of trees within their reach. This will not harm the trees. My God, they couldn't even spell there correctly. Not that the person leaving the comment would have known that. They can get rid of the word may in may browse and say, will absolutely prioritize the leaves and branches of the native trees before they get to the weeds. These are the people in charge. These are the people in charge who can't proofread signs that are mass produced and placed all over the city for children to read and be miseducated. 
We have yet another contradiction on that very sign talking about the goats browsing the leaves and branches. Yes, indeed, they are browsing, aren't they? They're not grazing. Why does the same sign higher up say that they are grazing? Sheep graze, goats browse. You're using the wrong species and you've been doing it for a decade at least. Don't get mad at me. These are the people in charge. This is the best they can do. I covered this point in that very same video. I'm sure the commenter didn't bother to watch or pay attention. He was looking forward to leaving his smart ass comment. But I asked, why are the trees planted by the people protected from the goats? Hmm, because the sign says that browsing and nibbling on the leaves doesn't hurt them. Then you don't need to protect them, do you? You can see I was a little bit angrier in yesterday's clips, but I did cover that exact same topic today. You see this? You see uh, the planted trees? So this was grazed by the goats every year until they decided to plant some trees here. They got a grant or something and had to use the funds and put in all these trees where these trees, you know, not to complain about trees, but actually shouldn't be. Uh, but the goats would come through and perpetuate the invasive plant problem every year. And now, now that they uh, have trees here, they don't graze the goats here anymore. What's that tell you about the line that uh, goats don't hurt the trees when they browse on them? If that's true, then let them in here. Let them in here. I've seen the goats. And listen, I think that goats are cool animals, but... This would be destroyed, probably even the irrigation line would be destroyed, and these would all be eaten. Let me say this, uh, it will be interesting to see the backpedaling of all the people who were so proud to come through and actually brag about the destructive nature of the goats, now try to say, oh, well, they're not so bad. <laughs> they're not so bad. So when you come on to an ecology channel and just drop your comment and run i feel like you didn't really want to hear what the video had to say it wouldn't have taken you very much work to read or look at the context etc and also i thought it was pretty clear that there was something specific that i was responding to as i was walking through that habitat i don't just go randomly walking into places where goats are uh, and come up with some topics I don't want to spend too much time making excuses, but I've tried in the past to cover every single topic in one video, and that doesn't work. Uh, they're too long. Who's going to watch that? Nobody, as I learned. So that was a short one. I put it out there. People watched it and commented on it. Now, now that you got your comments out of the way, can we look at the contrast from what the goats uh, actually do and what they are advertised to do? Oh, one more thought before we leave this area. Here's a testament to how successful the goats were all those years grazing in this area. Uh, obviously, the problem comes back every year. And now, now they've just switched from goats to weed whacking. And again, I ask, well, if the goats aren't going to harm the newly planted trees, why don't you just stick to the goats instead of now bringing in humans? That brings me to one more thing thought you know the advertisement is that the uh, goats are supposed to reduce this uh, over time and increase the native plants that's what's advertised that's not my opinion it's not what I think out of nowhere that's what verbatim is advertised no that did not happen the native plants were reduced the invasive plants increased I said that in the previous video and I wasn't saying it for a random reason it was a direct response to false advertising so regardless of how you feel about the goats, you know, even if you don't care about nature or the importance of each of those native plants that are being destroyed to the other organisms in the area, how do you feel about just being blatantly lied to? You know, it's just insulting your intelligence. Come on. It's not what's happening. If you, if you want to say, hey, we're giving a free meal to the goats and the taxpayers are paying for it, then say that. But just don't claim that something good for the habitat is happening here. And don't even start. You guys already condemned yourselves. You came on my video and with your own comments said how bad goats are for things. So just stop it. <laughs>